West Virginia able to come from behind in an improbable fashion yet again against the Maryland Terrapins. Here in Winston-Salem with the Mountaineers, I'm Dan Zangrilli on WVUSports.com. After falling down 4-0 to the Terps at the end of five, West Virginia rallied to score eight runs unanswered and wind up winning by an 8-5 to five score. Afterwards, Randy Mazie took to the podium to talk about yet another wild and wonderful one for the Mountaineers. Can't say enough about our kids. Down 4 nothing, and we went, I guess, eight innings yesterday without scoring and, what, the first five or six today. Hard to keep the Mountaineers for 13 straight innings without scoring a run. So you knew it was in this park just a matter of time till something happened. You know, it was business as usual, you know, and, and Kyle Davis and Jackson Kramer were the ones that made the outs in that inning. And I think after that happened, they took it upon themselves to – to have a good game from that point forward. And I think Cal hit one double and Kramer hit two after that. So uh, those guys in the second half of the game felt like, man, that, that fourth inning, that was my fault. So uh, let me uh, let me carry the team the rest of the way here. So with the win over Maryland, West Virginia earning the opportunity for a shot at redemption against the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. Playing in the doubleheader, some depleted pitching. B.J. Myers was given the ball by Randy Macy. As a matter of fact, he told me on our radio pregame show that Myers demanded it. After throwing 77 pitches in five and two-thirds of scoreless relief on Friday evening, Myers gave West Virginia everything that he could. Unfortunately, he did not have it. The Wake Forest offered Offense, one of the best in the country, putting up eight runs on ten hits against the WVU right-hander in three-plus innings. Though the Mountaineers did mount another come-from-behind effort, they were down as many as seven runs. They did wind up falling by four. Unfortunately, this 2017 season now comes to a close, and so too does the career of the great seniors, though only two of them on this West Virginia squad, Jackson Sigmund, the terrific reliever who was so good against Maryland earlier in the day for WVU, and, of course, senior slug first baseman Jackson Kramer who's provided us with so many dramatic big hits over the course of his career those two along with Randy Mazie at the podium afterwards proud of our team uh, you guys most of you guys don't know this but this this team will probably get down in history is maybe one of the best ever at West Virginia for what we accomplished this year and to do it uh, without the <laughs> the pitchers that we lost, really, these guys will tell you, is, it's incredible that that we got as far as we did and had so many of our players step up and fill roles when we needed them to. Every guy in the team, we literally used every guy in the team the last month of the season to get where we are. And I think uh, our guys showed a lot of heart, a lot of tenacity, and there are Mountaineer fans uh, everywhere, super proud of our team. And we made a lot of Mountaineer baseball fans that uh, weren't Mountaineer baseball fans prior to this year. But but uh, this is a statement about our program and where it's going and uh, the direction it's headed. Uh, we've got us a baseball program that, that we can be super proud of. The thing that stuck out most to me was, like you said, this year we lost two of our best pitchers. and fact that uh, we had other guys step up and replace them to get us where we're at now is pretty incredible and I mean at the time we didn't expect that but uh, it was good to see how that like played out over his time and it was just fun to watch all that happen. You know I can full heartedly say that you know to the last out today we were really you know competing up at the plate on the mound guys stepping up so it was an incredible season I think it's very indicative of the guys we have on the roster coming back for next year too. So West Virginia ends their magical 2017 season with a 36 and 26 record. But even though this is a bit sad that it's over, as the great Dr. Seuss once said, don't be sad that it's over, be glad that it happened. Plenty of magical memories in 2017. We soon won't forget the first postseason appearance in 21 years. Well, it only leads to 2018 and what memories those will bring as so many returning players are poised to take West Virginia to the next level as Mountaineer baseball has not been in a better spot in a long, long time. Thanks so much for joining us wherever you might have been watching, listening, or reading across the World Wide Web on WVUSports.com. Until next time, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, with the Mountaineers, this is Dan Zangrilly.